Hello Capricorn, it's Jennifer Pearson here, this is Gypsy. You have really a lovely reading here. Um, I'm going to look at the situations of single Capricorns in a couple of different ways, but this is certainly a beautiful reading here. Um, we're going to start with some general energies. So it says, Surrender to Inner Peace. And I think this is actually a reflection. I see a lot of confidence here in a relationship. And it's not, it's not a relationship that it has necessarily gone smoothly. It's, t it's taking some determination, but I see that the determination is there. Um, and so I, f I feel like this surrender to inner peace is like, you know, um, Surrendering to your own inner co confidence and no, and kind of knowing that things are going to eventually go your way, that your determination is going to pay off, and, and that you're, you know, she's kind of floating, that you no longer have to push the situation that it's with those birds in the background, it's starting to sort of gain momentum and will push you along. Um, a couple of other cards. This, this card is a general energy because it popped out on more than one occasion as I was shuffling cards. So I do all of the um, cardinal, cardinal signs at the same time. Um, and as I was doing each one, while I was still in the phase of sort of clearing the energy from the previous one and, and, and starting to focus on the next one, this card popped out twice. And it's like, all right, I'm going to take that as a general energy for the cardinal signs for the next four weeks. So this is kind of a ceremonial rivalry, a friendly rivalry between two people. So you might have that energy around you at some point during the next four weeks or two people um, kind of buy for your attention or your favor. Um, but it's it's friendly. It's not vicious. It's and it, it could even be something that is because they're in public here, they're doing it's kind of like a demonstration. It could be it's partly for show, but it still feels good, right? still feels good to have somebody, people sort of fighting over you, even if it's um, not completely, uh, it doesn't have the most serious intent. You know, given some of the other energy going on here, it could be somebody who comes up to you, Capricorn, and says, hey, if he doesn't come back, I'm here. <laughs> so, so don't feel like you're going to lose out because... I'm here waiting if, if he's foolish enough not to follow through on his promise. So for those of you um, who are utterly single, you're not in any kind of relationship, you're still looking. You get the naked man in the cave, <laughs> uh, which sounds silly. Um, but this is somebody who is uh, very genuine. Okay, So this is the card for that I pull as... The person you're likely to meet in the next four weeks who will be most compatible with you. You might meet half a dozen others for all I know, but this is the person who is actually most likely to be compatible with you that you're likely to encounter over the next four weeks. Um, this could be, uh, you see all that armor? He has taken off his armor. So this could be a soldier on leave. It could be an ex-soldier. You see he's in a, um, an aspect of prayer. He could be somebody who has um, become religious. That's not necessarily the, sp the complete spirit of the card. It's more somebody who has had a complete uh, 180 in their life. So you might date somebody and you learn that at one point they were, um, I don't know, a race car driver and, and really into... Um, thrill-seeking sorts of activities, but now uh, they like to cook and, you know, or they, um, you know, they're, they're doing something that, that requires more slowness, slowness and dedication 
like uh, some form of craft or something. So it's somebody who's experienced a complete 180 in their lifestyle. And they now live very simply on principle. So they might appear to be poor, but in fact, uh, they're living according to their own philosophies and principles. Uh, and you know they might have money, they might not have money, but they're going to, uh, but they're going to be people who somebody who lives simply. Um, it could be somebody who's retired, who's removed themselves for the most part from uh, the fray of everyday life, uh, have removed themselves from the rat the rat race. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much the kind of person uh, that you're that is most likely to be compatible with you that you might meet over the next four weeks. Uh, the rest of this is probably going to be probably going to be for, for people who are single but they're hoping that their relationship is uh, you know, they might, in other words, they might be dating somebody, but they're hoping for things to move forward in a positive direction. Um, so that's what the rest of the reading looks like on the, on the face of it. So let's get into it. I'm going to flip that under there for the moment, and we're going to talk about these cards. So usually, I see this as the the person I'm reading for. In this situation I don't. I think this is your this is your guy. Um, and if I see you here, you are here and here. This I see as um somebody watching. This might be actually your friendly rival. You might have a friendly rival. But what I see here is that this person who's in your life, this whoever it is, this is what he's looking toward. He's looking towards moving things forward. This can be a card of marriage, engagement, um, just public recognition of the fact that you're together, you know, could um, it's often depicted as sort of a party. So it could be that he finally, somebody finally takes you out to meet his friends and, and or family at some kind of event. So it, things become public. Um, this could be a rival, but I think she knows that she's second string. Um, it could also be somebody who uh, knows him and knows about your relationship and she may know his intention. If you have a friend, like if this person is in your circle of friends, this might be another friend that's even egging him on. It's like, are you going to do it? You know, I think she's a great gal. <laughs> I think she's she's worth your time you know and he's already leaning in that direction so I don't think that she's necessarily a negative influence but you know some people get creeped out by somebody who's watching their relationship this is somebody who's watching the relationship since it is a princess it's somebody younger kind of in your same age range um, if you're an older person watching this as many um, Many of my viewers are older women. This could be a daughter who's watching um, somebody that you're getting involved in and is seeing the fact that you may be getting together. Um, there's not an indication here. It is the cups, so you know that should be positive emotion. Um, but I don't feel strong. This is a very general reading, so I don't feel strongly one way or another whether this person is concerned about the fact that you're getting together or happy that you're getting together. Um, it could be either way, but I don't feel like this person is a negative influence, but there is somebody watching this progression. Um, 
So I feel like here with Adonis that you have um, somebody's good graces. Again, you, he, this could be your man presenting you to his father. Um, you know, but look, he's got his arms around you. I mean, there's just, and he's happy and you're happy. And so to me, this just totally feels like presenting, presenting his prize to somebody in authority. So just beautiful energy here. And then nine of cups. This is the wish. This is the happiness card. Wishes coming true. Again, this is this is you. So marvelous Capricorns. Marvelous. Kind of the most uncomplicated of the um, of the cardinal sign readings that I've done thus far. So let's look at the Lenormand spread. Um, again, I mean, you're right next to each other, right there. And I think when I did uh, your last reading, it was the same, just whoosh, And they're facing each other. The men and the women were facing each other. Um, your, your guy could still be very pre preoccupied with work. Um, and or family. The ring is in the future here, but not too distant future. Security, I mean, that's what you would want is the anchor with the ring and the security here, anchor with the sun. Those are all positive indications of stability and commitment. Coming from this, you may get a message um, and this is a strong, the bear equals strength and the ring is commitment. So this is a strong commitment. And look at that, that whole row there, the heart. So if you're going to meet somebody's family, they're going to like you. So we have the heart and the tree. The tree can be family or health. And it goes right down to that strong commitment. And then again, the ring with the anchor, which is a stable commitment and right down to the anchor, which is, um, and the sun, which is a happy commitment. So just tremendously positive here. Oh, you even have a lucky star. The clover is luck and the, the star is guidance. So um, there is something here where you have with the man, you in the station of the man, you have the mice, which is something eating away. And it might be the work. You have the woman with the key, so the woman opening up and the woman in the key. So you need to be sure, assuming that I'm talking to a woman here, as most of my listeners are women, um, that you need to open up. You know, the key is about opening a door. So be open. Um, and there may be some obstacle that you guys have to overcome and it may have to do with his work. Um, the, the mountain is an obstacle and the crossing is also a difficult period. So even though things are, you know, there's a lot of positive stuff heading, this is toward the future. So you're not quite toward at that stability yet, that happy stability, but that's where things are trending. But there is an obstacle that you will have to um, overcome. So the last two cards, we have the Gentle Gardener. So this is about, uh, this is the Gentle Gardener up here. I don't know if there's anybody who's helping to foster the relationship, but this is um, incubation. It's about incubating, taking time to foster something. Um, and I could see even um, that this whole trending thing here is toward, is, is the man 
starting to more actively foster the relationship. Um, either of these could be encouraging influences that would have that gentle gardener um, kind of guidance and, and helping you see how to nurture the relationship. But in general, it's a nurturing card, something that's going to take some time to come to fruition. And there's an understanding of that and a focus on making sure that it happens, regardless of the time involved. And then for your um, National Park card, <laughs> so this is kind of my wild card. I like, I like to use this. It works actually quite well for relationships a lot of time. So you have these two raccoons in the forest. I mean, so this could be you and your, your partner uh, making their way through the forest. But let's take a look at what it says here. Um, the Olympic National Forest includes four types of forest, including a temperate rainforest. There are 23 different plants and animals that have been found nowhere else but here. So I almost think of this as a rare, a rare partnership that you're involved in right now. A rare positive partnership that again is trending in really positive ways. You know, and they're both headed in the same direction. So wonderful Capricorns. Yay. This this is this is beautiful. This is this is what I would want to have <laughs> as a reading. It's really great. Um, so that's it for uh, the next four weeks, and I will see you on the other side. Take care. Bye-bye.